is Nan Bosler and I'm the president of the Australian Seniors Computer Clubs Association, which is uh, a com an organisation that is, has clubs in every state of Australia. We empower older people to learn how to use technology. We want them to be able to uh, understand the satisfaction and benefits of using the internet, because the internet's too good to miss. And uh, I am delighted and very proud to be invited to this uh, symposium today because it is important that countries recognise the positive aspects of ageing and it's, a, it's an issue that is relevant and vital to the good development of every country. And I am delighted that so many speakers are here today from different parts of the world, all expressing the same idea. And in Australia, I'm very, very pleased that my organisation is able to meet with older people and able to say, seniors need, seniors want. Then hopefully, we'll be recognised for the positive aspects of ageing that we are bringing to our community. Each of our clubs is set up so it's autonomous. That means that the club will have the power to decide what is best for its members and to meet their interests and their concerns. Peer learning is the way that we help seniors learn how to use technology. Because a senior learns a little differently to others, we like to learn at our own pace, and we like to be able to ask questions. Most of all, we like to learn from our peers. And if we're motivated, we're likely to be able to successfully use computer technology with Mastering even simple computer skills, our self-esteem is improved, our general well-being is enhanced, and it is exciting to know that in Australia there are lots of organisations helping seniors to embrace technology. For instance, our government has uh, introduced a program called Broadband for Seniors, and we have set up 2,000 kiosks across Australia where a senior can come to learn how to use the internet without cost. And hopefully, when they have learnt that basic information, they will then go on and join a club or go to a community centre where they're having computer activities so they can learn more, expand the perimeters of what they know about technology. Because with technology, we can keep in touch with our family and friends, whether across the road or across the world. We can research our family story, we can shop online, whether it's groceries to be delivered to the home or whether it's to buy a, uh, an airline ticket to come to a wonderful place like South Korea. It, uh, technology is, is absolutely amazing. There are opportunities, I think, that many of us find quite hard to grasp. They're so, they're so far-reaching and they're so good. This symposium is a wonderful opportunity for seniors to be heard. It's a wonderful opportunity for us to hear experts from different parts of the world as they are approaching the whole, the, whole, the whole story about what it is to be positive about ageing. And I am looking forward to hearing these people and perhaps I can take information from what I hear back to improve what we're doing in Australia and maybe they can take some insight from Australia's activities. school years and ten, and I wanted to continue to be an active part of my community. And what would help me? Technology can, with the flick of a mouse or with the flick of a finger, open up a new world for those of us who want to keep in touch with life. Using the computer and access to the internet will provide us with many advantages. For instance, it allows us to communicate with family and friends, whether across the road or across the world. Uh, it will enable us to embrace lifelong learning in ways we never thought comfortable with before being able to use computer technology technologies. But there are many other advantages and benefits to name just to researching your family history or shopping online, whether it's for food to be delivered to your home or whether it's a ticket to come to something special in South Korea. 
Let me tell you about myself. I've worked in local government and in various forms of education. I've been a volunteer within my community for more than 60 years. I'm a widow, I live by myself. I'm a published author, I'm a great grandmother. I was my husband's primary carer for 13 years. During that time, my computer became my strongest link to the world. I was just one of the million Australians who provide care for family members or friends in New South Wales. Our stories are different, but the similarities are many. Now, I just started my master's degree in local government management and planned to go on to do a PhD when my husband had his strokes, but now he needed me at home. I took a break, and then later on I was able to continue to finish my master's. I had to show up a PhD. Still time. Now, before I retired from the council, I'd been approached by a gentleman called Walt to see if I would um, perhaps like to know something about a small computer group that he had started in Arabic. I said, I'll, I'll, I'll join that when I retire. Now, Walt kept in touch with me, and finally I did join that group. At that stage, there were about five small groups in the Sydney metropolitan area that were uh, doing a similar thing. I was beginning to realise what a wonderful idea a computer group for seniors would be. And uh, I did join that group, and then I discovered that Wallen had been hit under would become the next president. <laughs> I was most reluctant because I knew that Bill's needs would be increasing, not decreasing. I finally agreed on two conditions. A lot of my work would have to be done at home, and I wanted to take the emerging idea of a seniors computer club and form it into a national organisation. Now, I uh, <coughs> called a public meeting, and that was in 1998. We set up a steering committee, and it wasn't long after that we finished the brief set for the steering committee's uh, uh, attention. And on the 14th of August, 1998, ASCA became an incorporated association. In 2001, ASCA became a public company, and ASCA is now the National Peak Body for Seniors and Technology. This is a term you've heard before. This is an organisation that's run by seniors for seniors. I wrote a development plan to be used as a blueprint to start a computer club for seniors, as an incorporated organisation, and a second one to start an organisation as part of another incorporated uh, body such as a retirement village, a community group, a focus group, a lot of others. Of course I've rewritten that uh, many times and it is not only used in Australia, I know it's being used in several other countries. It's still available on the ASCA website, it's free to access and to download. Now, ASCA, Australian Seniors Computer Clubs Association. The association's non-profit mission is to seek to educate seniors and those seniors with a disability in, in ways of enriching their lives and making them more self-reliant in the world of technology. The association also seeks to bridge the generation gap and assist seniors in finding ways to benefit the community at large through their collective experience and knowledge. ASCA services are provided by volunteers to assist older and disabled Australians to access computer technology. Membership is open to all computer clubs for seniors, organisations with the membership of seniors, and organisations that recognise the value of technology for older people. ASCA has more than 150 member clubs, and they're located in every state of Australia. Our objective is to help seniors to become computer literate so they can benefit from the communication technologies of the 21st century. The association will help to start new clubs, advise existing clubs, undertake research projects, liaise with the three spheres of government and other organisations on behalf of the membership. We organise seminars and like activities to provide a channel of, of informing our members. In actual fact, ASCA is a channel for communication between like-minded people who want to share in the digital age to serve their individual and their community goals. <coughs> now, ASCA seeks to serve the seniors of Australia by providing information, training, forums, seminars, 
and workshops relevant to information communication technology and other issues of importance to vulnerable people and those who have a disability. ASCA speaks out for seniors on a number of government committees and boards. Seniors need to be able to say, seniors what? Seniors need. ASCA is run by seniors for seniors. Yes, I'm repeating that. And except for a part-time staff employed in our national office, the equivalent of 142 uh, full-time staff, we are all volunteers. Now, seniors need options. We need to learn in a friendly, non-threatening environment. And we thrive if we can learn at our own pace. Peer supported learning is ideal for us. Mastering even simple computer skills will greatly enhance our self esteem and improve our well being. If a senior is motivated to learn, he's likely to succeed. Let me suggest a few ways that seniors can learn. This is where options really do come in because we all prefer different learning styles and opportunities. Now, ASCO is part of the consortium that has helped to establish 2,000 broadband for seniors kiosks across Australia, where seniors can learn basic computer skills and how to access and use the internet. The program is funded by the government and it is free. ASCO has written all the face-to-face -face training material for those kiosks. In New South Wales, there is a program called Tech Savvy Seniors, which is funded by the state government as part of the New South Wales ageing strategy. And, and Telstra is also supporting that financially. This program has been run in selected community colleges and in libraries. It's at a very low cost or often free. And of course, there are always the Australian Seniors Computer Clubs Association clubs, and that network is throughout Australia. Now, the world appears to be shrinking. Computer technology has provided us with a scale of communication that many of us find difficult to grasp. ASCA provides a channel of communication between those like-minded people. Now, increasingly the capacity for older people to participate in community activities, continued employment, purchase goods, community to make their own